remember what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? If you don't already have it, I'm about to give you some million dollar game. It's been a very tough week for Floyd Mayweather's family. A few days ago, news broke that the mother of his three children, Josie Harris, was found unresponsive in her car. Now the mother of his first child is sharing in words the grief she feels after hearing about Josie's death. Melissa Brim is the mother of Ayanna Mayweather, Floyd's 20-year-old daughter. According to reports, her relationship with Floyd started before his relationship with Josie. In recent years, they appeared to have been getting along, and so did the kids. Melissa shared her grief and turned off her IG comments, stating this was hard to type. This one hurt. I'm typing with tears in my eyes. Josie, I want you to know you've done such a great job with the kids. You've always loved Yaya like she was one of your own. I'll never forget the last message you sent, Yaya, about us coming to visit you. You have my word to always be there for the kids if they need anything. My heart hurts for the kids right now, but I know you will watch over and protect them. May God bless your soul. R.I.P. Josie Harris. Pay attention, boys and girls. That's a grown woman talking. Now let me say something straight out the gate. I've already heard the rumors about how Josie and Melissa used to go at each other. But at least from Melissa's point of view, they seem to have reconciled in recent years. The kids visited each other and they communicated. This is what grown folks do. Not just communicate, but communicate effectively. Parenting is one of the most difficult challenges you will face in your life. Co-parenting is even more difficult. And parenting in a multi-parent family is extremely difficult. But you have to create a safe and strong family environment for your children. It is not about you. This is why it is imperative that you remain healthy physically, mentally, spiritually, because your children is going to feed off your energy. You cannot afford to badmouth their father. Father, you cannot afford to badmouth mama. It don't work like that. You are not the label or the category baby daddy that people try to put you in. Women, you are not the label or the category baby mama that people try to label you as. You're much more than that. So it's very important that everybody know how to play their position. If a man has children by you and he goes out and have children with another woman, he is bonded to that woman as well as he is to you for life. And so are you by proxy. We got to all grow the hell up and put our big boy draws on, a big girl draws on, whatever you wear, and ride for these babies. I see way too many grown ass people, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, arguing, fighting like little children. And the children are listening and watching and going like, damn, 
I the kids are like, damn, I feel like the adult. The kids are in the middle trying to calm grown ass people down. It's embarrassing. If I was in that position, I would be embarrassed. I remember one day we were overseas in a restaurant, me, my kids, and their mother, and I snapped about something. And it was, I thought it was serious at the time, but I'll never forget the way my son looked at me. My son was about five years old. He looked at me like, what the hell is wrong with you? And I felt so immature. I ain't like feeling like that, you know? You ever just feel immature? You do something, you feel immature? I didn't feel, I didn't like that feeling. And my son has never seen me that way in life again. He never witnessed anything like that from me again. I didn't like that feeling. You have to always be on your game when you have children because they are soaking up everything you do. Now, you're the teacher. You're the parent. You're the coach. You're the counselor. And you're the one always in their ear telling them about how to do things the correct way. And if they see you off your game, that's inconsistent. Kids like consistency. So if they see you off your game, they're going to go, well, I can get off my game. You dig what I'm saying? So you got to always be consistent. You can't afford not to. You're raising human beings. The information that you give them in your house, they're going to take out into the world and display whatever behavior, whatever conduct that they learned at home. That's what they're going to show to the world. I'll leave you with these Ghetto Boys lyrics that I wrote for Bushwick on the Ghetto Boys Foundation album. The song is called I Tried. Once you give life, life is bigger than yours. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.